My story begins in uh, 2016 in October. I was coming off a plane from Indianapolis on my way back to Jacksonville and I was one of the first off the plane and I uh, started up the runway and the next thing I knew I was down on the ground. A pilot had tripped me coming off the plane. He helped me up and he said, are you hurt? And I said, yes, I'm hurt. And he said, well, I'm in a hurry and he took off and left me. And somehow I managed to make it to the uh, other plane coming to Jack from to Jacksonville. And when I got to Jacksonville, the pain was so severe and I was pretty shaken up and they took me into the hospital at that point from the airport. And then I was told, I was x-rayed and told that there were no broken bones. And so I uh, ended up seeing my own doctor and then I saw a chiropractor who I've been going to for about 25 years. And uh, I was under treatment, then I had um, acupuncture, I had massages, and the pain just continued. It began to get pretty um, off the wall. And by uh, March, I was supposed to go back to Mexico for a wedding, and I decided I had to do something else. So I looked and I found a podiatrist, and I went to him, and he, um, took some x-rays and then um, gave me shots in the top of both of my feet and he said this should do it. And I left and went to Mexico for the wedding and came back in more severe pain where I could hardly walk, I was hobbling so bad. And I went back into him, he sent me for MRIs and when the MRIs come back he said that the ligaments on the top of my right foot and the bottom, and that was the only foot that he um, did an MRI of. He did not do the left one and it was hurting too. And so uh, he gave me a walking cast and he at that point talked to me about stem cell but it was done with the blood plasma. And I went back a couple of times but I just didn't feel real comfortable and thought that I needed to do a little bit more investigating. And I'm pretty much uh, into using natural things versus pain. I have a very high tolerance of pain. And uh, so I started asking some questions and finally I asked my chiropractor, I said, what do you know? Do you know a doctor who does stem cells? Um, I was in South Florida and I saw an ad in the newspaper down there of a doctor in uh, Boca Raton. And I thought, no, I wanna get someone closer to home. And he told me, I said, I think I need to go to an orthopedic man. I just need a second opinion. And he recommended that I check out Dr. Heakin. And so from there, I went to the internet and I uh, found that the cell um, stem cell was done right here in Jacksonville. And there was Dr. Obi was involved with it. And uh, I s typed in the information on um, the internet, but I didn't get a response the first day and I was really at a point where I really wanted some answers. And so I picked up the phone and called and, and he saw me, made an appointment, the girls made an appointment for me almost immediately. And I came in to see Dr. Obi and he checked it out and we ta he talked to me about stem cell. And since I had already done some reading on it, uh, I knew a little bit, but certainly just a small amount. So made an appointment uh, and uh, appointment was made. And so I came in to have uh, them take uh, the stem cells out, which they take it out of the fat uh, from your stomach. And uh, then he also took some blood and that was uh, separated too. And uh, I, I believe it's called the plasma that is reinserted in. And Dr. Heakin then came in to uh, reinsert it. One of the things that Dr. Obi told me while he was examining my leg was that my I had a little bit of arthritis in the knee and because of my high tolerance for pain when I'd go up and down the stairs I would just oh well it's because I'm out of exercise I'm just not really in good shape but um, anyway he said we're gonna give you a little shot there too and uh, so they put one in the heel on my right foot, in the top of my foot near the toes on the left foot, and then they put a shot uh, on the uh, inner side of the knee. And uh, when I got off the table, 
uh, which was just a short period of time, um, he said, don't wear the cast anymore. And I um, said, okay. But the thing that was astounding to me was that I didn't have any pain in that knee at all. It was just completely gone. And that was just, wow. So went home, followed the instructions of a couple of days, and it has the uh, right foot, which was in so much pain, seemed like it was uh, disappeared almost instantly. And then on the left side, it was taking a lot longer. And I had to realize in my mind that it was well uh, over a year because it was two days. It was October um, 19th, uh, 2017 before I had this procedure done. I have never been so happy about a procedure in my life because to me, it's the body healing itself. And uh, I like natural things. I'm not much on taking pain medicine. I took very little, even though I was at times, the pain was seemed like I just could hardly stand it any longer And uh, before I had the procedure. and. As I've continued on, um, I came back to see him and it was three months and it was almost completely better. I still was having some difficulty. And um, I'm at a point where there's very little discomfort at all. In fact, I don't even think about it anymore. I am so happy and so pleased with Dr. Lewis Obi and what he has done and his abilities and his desire to just research and research and and uh, continue on on this journey of helping other people. And I just really am so grateful and so thankful to God for what he has discovered and what he is pushing forward to and continues to with the newest equipment from all that I have seen in his office.